please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Uh, Nandan, uh, let me come to you now. Uh, congratulations, A, on getting this deal done. Uh, you know, it's... Uh we still haven't seen Fundamentum make its first investment yet. Uh, when can we expect that? Uh, you've obviously gone through the process of identifying potential companies that you could partner with, you could invest in. Uh, what looks good at this point? Well, we have yet to make our first announcement. That is correct, and we hope to do that uh, soon. Uh, we have gone through uh, maybe over 100 companies in the last uh, few months. We have a very... Uh, exacting process uh, of selection. We diagnose the companies. We spend a lot of time with the founders. We look for people who have the market, the momentum, the you know, maturity to deal with what we need. So it, it is a it's a process. But I'm confident now we have uh, in the next few months you will see a couple of investments uh, from us. And what is exciting to us is that once we make the investment, we hope to bring our collective yeah. expertise on technology, on, on HR, on leadership development, on marketing, on strategy, on distribution, on sales, uh, on quality, all these old-fashioned things that are required to build a business. And mm -hmm. we're going to bring that expertise to our selected companies to help them scale up rapidly. Okay, uh, you know, the last, uh, when we spoke, when you did set up Fundamentum, Nandan, you had spoken about how uh, you were looking at the possibility of uh, investing on an average about $15 million in the startup that you would like to back. Uh, uh, is that the average ticket size that you're still working with? Well, it could be anywhere from, you know, 8 to 15 kind of thing. We, we are looking at maybe maximum two or three companies in a year because it's not about quantity, it's about quality. And it's about selecting these hmm. uh, 10, 15 companies in the fund and then working with them and helping them to scale up. And we also expect that as they scale up, uh, we expect that if they have more capital requirements, then we would perhaps go back to CDPQ because we're seeing this as a whole life cycle approach to these companies. So what we have started, announced okay. today with uh, Michael and CDPQ is really the first step of what we think is a longer term relationship. I think this point, if I could just jump in okay. on this, uh, I, I think this point that, that, that Nanan's just made is really important uh, because you mentioned before a $20 million contribution on our part, which is true, uh, but that's really just the beginning of a much broader relationship. Uh, hmm. One of the things that we're looking for here and that interests us is that as these companies grow, they will require additional capital, and therefore it's not just the fundamental platform itself, which is the starting point, but as companies, if I can put it this way, graduate in size as they grow, then that will create opportunities for us to continue to accompany them as a financial partner as we invest more mm -hmm. and more in the growth of those businesses. Uh, you know, so as you pointed out, Mr. Sabia, that this is only the, the beginning of this relationship that you have with Fundamentum, and if required, you could look at investing significantly more than the 20 million that you've committed to today. Uh, but would that also mean that you could look at other VCs in India, or would this uh, be restricted to your relationship with Fundamentum? Well, the uh, first point I'll make is as, a, as, a, as an element of our investment philosophy, we tend not to invest in a lot of funds. We manage 90% uh, of our assets ourselves with our own investment teams. So when we select a fund to work with, it's, it's on a very, very, it's very, very surgical process in our minds. Um, we've, we've decided to work um, with Fundamentum uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, both, num number one, the quality um, and the great, great capabilities of the two people I'm sitting beside, which speaks for themselves, mm. I think uh, those qualities speak for themselves in, 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 in India. And the second point is just a, 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 an extremely good, extremely strong meeting of minds on what is this really about? Mm. Because this is not about just funding startups, because uh, in fact that's not the goal. The goal is to take businesses that are operating and that we all think yeah. have the potential uh, to become substantial, large businesses mm. in their own right and to fund the growth and development of those businesses and to provide them with the kind of operating and business skills that you need to turn a small business into a great big business. So it's, the, it's that similarity of mindset and similarity of objective 
that mm. has led us uh, to want to do this. As to whether or not we would engage with, with other um, funds, I, 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 don't think this, I don't think Fundamentum is really a venture capital fund in my mind, but I think we would, we would probably be uh, quite hesitant to do so given that we, uh, that we don't okay. tend to invest in funds a lot. So this relationship we're establishing with uh, Nandana and with San San Sanjeev is really a, a, a unique relationship.